What's up, YouTube? It's Ben here. You can't see my face right now because it is Christmas and I don't have my cameras and set up with me right now. But I did want to show you a quick hack that I just learned that brings the edit page to DaVinci Resolve on iPad. It turns out that Blackmagic was lying to us saying that they could only bring the cut and the color tab right now to DaVinci Resolve and they're actually all there. So I just saw this on Michael Tobin's channel. He got it from a guy named Daniel, who also has a YouTube channel, and I wanted to show it to you in case you didn't see their videos. So let me show you how this works. You just have to bring up the keyboard shortcut list and assign a keyboard shortcut to it. So go ahead and hit Option Command K on your keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard, I don't know how this can be done. Option Command K, that's going to bring this up. Make sure that you're on all commands and scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to find this Show Page option. You can see that I have the Edit Page here set to Control-1. So once I've set it to whatever I want it to be, in this case, I've set it to control one, I can use that keyboard shortcut to go ahead and open up the edit page here in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Kind of wild and crazy. So let me go ahead and hit close on this. I'm just going to hit control one, and there is the edit page. I can get into it and I can basically do everything here. It just exists inside the program. And essentially, Blackmagic was just hiding it, which is a little crazy to think about, but hopefully it won't disappear. I've actually gone and turned off automatic updates just in case Blackmagic removes this in the next update to DaVinci Resolve because I really like using the edit page better. You can see that this totally works. Everything is here. Now, there are a couple of things that, of course, don't seem fully functional just because the mouse here works a little bit different, so it's hard to get the icons to show up properly on the cut page they will show up properly right here. You can see you can get your different icons, but here on the edit page, those don't show up yet. So obviously there's some work to be done on it, but it's here, it exists. And in some ways it's so much easier to use for those of us who've been editing on the edit page for a long time. So that's pretty exciting. That's all I want to show you right now. Just a real quick video. Drop in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you're going to add in the edit page or fusion or Fairlight or media or export. Just let me know what you're going to do there. Okay. You guys all have a very Merry Christmas. We'll chat in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.